So we can describe this kind of visual model in a more mathematical way. All right? For that, then let's, uh, let's come up with some variables. So we're going to basically classify inputs in just basically two way. We're going to call, usually the fixed inputs we're going to call in capital, and we're going to use the word K for it. And we usually call economies, usually call it capital, because this is, um, on the short term, this is going to be your fixed inputs. It's heavy things, plant, machine, and so forth. And then the variable input is going to be called labor because it's usually the stuff you can change. It's the workers. So this is going to be, on the short term, is the variable input. Now your output is, you will simply use the, the, the variable Q to represent output. And the square, which is where the production proce process occurs, we can now make a, a more specific relationship uh, about how production works, and in a general way, we're going to say that your output is going to be a function of these two inputs, capital and labor. And this could take many different forms, like for instance, it could be in this way, or it could be in this way, or maybe it's just depending on one in input and not the other. So it could take many different ways, but at the minimum, we could say that, in general, this visual process of production that we introduce is going to be, it's going to have this, the general mathemat mathematical function of output being a function of the two inputs we'll use, two type of inputs, capital and labor. And that's the simplest way in which we can start understanding how production works. So in the case of you're studying for an exam, your output, which is the number of correct problems, is going to be a function of your capital, which is your IQ and your education you have until this point, and the variable inputs, which is the amount of study hours or the labor you put in studying for an exam, and your output uh, to produce that output, which is the number of correct problems. If you have a pizzeria, your output is going to be the pizzas, and your capital is going to be the oven, and perhaps your rent, and your labor is going to be the number of workers you use to produce this pizza. Every production process works in exactly the same way. And like you can see, our important thing is to concentrate now on this more formal representation of production, but it's essentially what we've been saying before, is what happens in the square is this production recipe or production function. All right?